This is the voice from Father Zimbabwe. Bantobami, Lalilan, Terirai, Izapu, Izabusa, Zapu, Ichatu. Um, hello, Mr. Zimbabwe. Yeah, so, how are you today? I'm um, very well, thanks. And how are you? Uh, I'm very well. Um, thanks for this opportunity to sort of have a chat with you. Uh, just to find out a few things from you uh, about yourself, about your party, about the political in general in Zimbabwe. Um, first, maybe if we can ask, uh, maybe if you can tell us who you are, where do you come from? Thank you. Uh, my name is Atwin Josan Gogu. Uh, I was born in a village called Matema in Plum Tree, not far from Doloani. Okay, um, maybe if you can uh, just give us a few memorable um, activities, uh, experiences of your childhood. Uh, right, I did my primary schooling at Jukute Primary School, uh, which is uh, right at the end of Blum Tree, if you like, next to uh, Makulela School. Uh, really, not much, because uh, during my school primary days, there was uh, this distraction. other political activities. Uh, as a result, we moved from one place to another. Uh, and luckily, I managed to complete my area with all levels at Cholocho, and I went to school. That's where I got my uh, junior habitat in my childhood. Thereafter, when looking for a job in the <laughs> yes. Um, when did you start to be political active? Um, yes, I started the, uh, if I can remember correctly, in around 96. 96? Yes, I remember 96. Of course, I was even feeling with the political parties as well, but not Zan. <laughs> but I'm happy to. Uh, that's when I started my political career, uh, influenced by as well ANC, because during the, the difficult Christian I was in South Africa, and I was inspired by the uh, uh, work done by ANC, uh, uh, which was to liberate the um, people of South Africa. Unfortunately, uh, the strike in Zimbabwe was uh, I was too young to participate. Uh, uh, 96, 97, yeah, 97, 98, uh, to 99. I, I joined as well in this. I did join in this. Unfortunately, I was in South Africa still. So I was organizing such a time. All things started. You were talking about South Africa, and how did you find yourself there? Ah, uh, it's a peculiar situation. As a plum ball, historical, everybody finishing school or not finishing school, they cross the border to the canal. Uh, and I think due to lack of role models, due to lack of uh, guidance, we, we, we are inspired by the people who are in South Africa. They come out, you see them coming with uh, this uh, I mean, materialistic things and, uh, and uh, you, you wish or you want to be like them. And, uh, let's move on. When did you join? Uh, Zapo. 
I was in Zafu. <laughs> so I was in Zafu. But uh, when it was uh, revived, then I joined the, the, um, the Congress to, you know, to revive Zafu. Our party is back right, on the spotlight uh, as initially uh, initiated the permanent solution uh, liberation strike. And, uh, we felt that the, I mean, uh, the work hasn't been finished. Yet, so, uh, okay, so, you're saying that the initiated and now Zap is What is it that is offering people now? Before I go to that point, let me say it initiated a democracy where we see the suppressed people being able to vote, one man, one vote. Um, as I pointed out, that it um, initiated the permanent solution. Zap again has initiated a permanent solution in terms of devolution of power, which uh, uh, we believe all the pro pro provinces in Zimbabwe will be relieved from the current situation uh, in terms of development, in terms of managing uh, projects, um, in terms of uh, business, uh, liberating individuals. So, so uh, the way uh, you passionately talk about devolution of power, it seems to me that it is a flagship uh, policy of the party. Indeed, it is. It, 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 it was and it still is. Because uh, as you, you might remember that it advocated decentralization of power, but the way it was implemented, it was not the way Zapo I mean, had in its policy. Uh, to, to point one or two things, um, we realize that we need not to change the person, but to, to change the system in Zimbabwe. In order for us to do that, we need to come up with the policies which will encompass it. We will encompass all Zimbabweans and all Zimbabweans be, be able to maneuver to do things freely. So, devolution of power will, uh, as well as uh, um, proportional representation, which we said, on top of that, uh, proportional representation will enable the disadvantaged communities tribes if you like, because there is this uh, uh, tribe theme in, in our country where when you do something, you are, you are a tribalist, when you do ABC. <laughs> so we say in order for us to, come, to overcome those, those hackings, then repre proportional representation is the answer. And uh, we believe uh, some other political parties have realized that too. Okay. Um, in Zap, uh, what, what's your role? Uh, what portfolio do you hold if you hold any? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, um, of course, I'm a, a product of uh, Europe Progress. Uh, currently, I'm the Southern Region Director for Mobilization and Organizing. And organizing. Mm. What entails? Mm. Um, um, I come up with the uh, mobilization strategy, the election strategy, and the way actually how can we increase our membership. By the way, it has been it has increased dramatically, and we are happy because we have been doing membership audit, speaking to uh, provincial executives, district branches, so on and forth, listening to their problems. See what can be the army coming up with the solution engaging people that's the idea so uh, what what you're telling me is that people are uh, receiving uh, uh, zapu in this yes indeed uh, one will will say uh, uh, seeing zapu on papers and uh, Oh, seeing up on papers and television is the only way of, uh, of uh, publicizing uh, uh, Zappa. No, we, we went to France 
door to door, speaking, talking to people, listening to them. That is most important because from there you do exactly what is expected uh, or you meet what the needs of the people. All right. Um, since uh, it's of survival, uh, was it 2008 to 2009? Um, what do you think has been the problems that has faced and how has it overcome those problems? Uh, we'll, uh, uh, Pause the moment, or I'll take you back at the moment. We are coming from Comfort, Comfort Farm, where we, 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 after uh, Smith regime banned uh, the ANC and the uh, no, ANC, yeah, you, 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 the ANC, and the when Zap after you did. Uh, you, no, 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 no. Uh, ND, NDP. NDP. Uh, the, uh, the NDP was banned. Then we vowed not to change the name from that. 1963, you remember, there was a split. 1972, 1970, if I'm, I'm, I'm not mistaken, 70 to 71, there was Freelenzo, there was a split. Zappo survived. And what the point is, we have experience of dealing with any problems that we are able to handle them surely and forge ahead. As we speak now, we believe we have surpassed all the help. Looking forward to the next coming elections. Uh, talk about elections. And I understand that you uh, are aspiring uh, members of the candidate. Um, would you mind uh, telling me uh, about your constituents? What work have you done there? And what prospects you as an, an individual have in terms of winning your seat? Thank you very much. Um, as, uh, as I said uh, uh, earlier on, that I'm from Plumtree. Uh, and I'm aspiring to represent the people of Bolilima West, which is bordering Bolilima East, as well as Mangwe and Cholocho. Um, and uh, <laughs> I can say, um, uh, I'm an approved candidate now. <laughs> yes. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. Right. What have, what have you done? A lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. Even though there are some constraints here and there, we have managed to organize people, uh, form structures in the constituents. By the way, there are 13 constituencies, I mean, wards in, in, in Bolivia, East constituency. And um, we have uh, uh, recruited uh, uh, people to stand in as councillors and are working with those people. Uh, the strategies go to village by village, village by village, explaining the position of, of, of um, our party. And we have held um, if, uh, not uh, more than four rallies, successful rallies at Ndolani, excuse me, Makulela, as well, we went back to Ndolani. Now, uh, in my recent visit, I was approached by the the villages, especially those who reside in Kala. Kala is where our uh, the late uh, George Lundiga village. And they say to me, come Hero Day. We want to celebrate Hero Day in Kala, um, making sure that um, George Lundiga days where we uh, are celebrated and we commemorate the, um, his doings. Why? He was the only MP who had the vision about the constituents, who had project lined up, the project which will benefit the communities. Since then, no one has ever come forward with uh, or further the, the I mean, the, the ideals of Mr. Slim. So, so it, it, it seems um, Mr. Slundiga uh, is a, a hard act to follow. You, what projects are you envisaging to 
enact uh, in the constituency if you are elected? We 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 so happy because uh, even though the devolution of power is now in the constitution, not the way we wanted, but at least that that. They say half a bread is, is better than nothing. Uh, what we are intending to do, of course, there is a list. But one thing for sure is to stop, come up with the ways, not to stop aside, but come up with the ways which will enable the youth to, to, to complete their education, primary and high, I mean, I mean uh, secondary education, find job in, in, in within uh, the constitution, uh, the constituency, if not in Zimbabwe. Uh, again, if you take a look at, uh, or, uh, uh, look at the highlight of the, of the, possibly the, the what do you call it, the government, they were educated in Plum Tree, Tegwani, most yeah, legendary people, but there is no college. There is no university, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, there is a shortage of labor in, in my constituency. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I will tackle, including health, mm -hmm. health, and 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 development. Of course, the infrastructure is of importance because we need to uh, move from one place to another. We need to make sure that. Okay, is that maybe before we conclude, uh, Mr. Ngo. If you could maybe try to think aloud with us, what do you think are the prospects of SAPU in this forthcoming election? Uh, particularly along southern region, I'm certain that we are going to, to win. Mm, 